Fighter jets are bombing homes. Explosions in populated town centers. And rebels fighting government forces across the country. All too similar and the Syrian crisis worsening by the day. But the UN Arab League Special Envoy seems to have a solution. A unity government that satisfies all warring sides. A full executive powers government is a very simple, understandable statement, which means that all the authority of the state should be possessed by that government. This government would hold the power during the transitional period. The transitional period ends with elections. These elections could be presidential or parliamentary if the agreement was on changing the Syrian regime to a parliamentary one. These are some points of a peace process process that could be formed and could be satisfactory to all. But opposition Syrian National Coalition, accepted by most Western nations as the legitimate representatives of the Syrian people, has already made its views clear about any rapprochement. There is no specific tangible proposal that he put forward up to this point. We are open to any solution as long as the solution involves Assad and the powers of his regime departing and leaving the Syrian people, especially those who have committed crimes against Syrians. Our first condition is for them to leave the country. After being away from the spotlight for weeks, Lakhtar Brahimi has been in Syria, talking to the government and the representatives of its few remaining international allies. He is due to travel to Moscow to seek support for a possible solution. With Mr. Brahimi and our American colleagues, we tried to find a way out of this situation on the basis of our common plan of actions, which was fixed in Geneva on June 30th this year. But this proposed Geneva plan was never implemented, because neither side in Syria was committed to carrying it out. And Mr. Brahimi has not given any specifics yet to see how this may work in the coming weeks and months. And time is running out. For not just the millions displaced in and around Syria, but for the hundreds of thousands unwittingly caught in the conflict, paying with their lives. Osama bin Javid, Al Jazeera.